students. Uh, from your syllabus, uh, today I will start uh, an important topic uh, from Ethics 3, that is nothing but partial derivatives. So uh, I begin the concept of partial derivatives with a brief introduction. So when a function, what do you mean by partial derivative first, that we all have to know, uh, that uh, when a function of more than one independent input variable changes because of changes in one or more of the input variables, it is important to calculate the change in the function itself. This can be investigated by holding all but one of the variables constant and finding the rate of change of the function with respect to the one remaining variable. So this process is called partial differentiation. In this section, we show how to carry out the process. Actually, partial differentiation <coughs> in partial derivatives, suppose a uh, variable y, which is in terms of x. So uh, del y by del x, that is partial derivative of y with respect to x means what? partial derivative y with respect to x keeping all other variables as constant. So uh, these are some outcomes we have taken. So first uh, number first point is what partial order derivative first partial order derivative the x partial derivative first we have to discuss. So what will happen here for a function of a single variable, that is y is a function of x, changing the independent variable x leads to corresponding change in the dependent variable. It is known to all that when x is changing, the dependent variable y is also changing. So the rate of change of y with respect to x is given by the derivative actually. So that is nothing but dA by dx. A similar situation occurs with functions of more than one variable. Okay, that means uh, when a function containing more than one variable, what are the situations arise? Mainly, so for clarity, we shall concentrate on the functions of just two variables. In this uh, contain, so we have considered z equal to f of x, that is a variable z which is dependent on the two variables x and y. But the two variables x and y are independent. That is, for the change in the variables x and y, the value of z is also changing. So uh, in this relation, z equal to fx y, the independent variables are x and y, and y uh, and the dependent variable is z. So uh, it is what both of the variables x and y may change simultaneously, inducing a change in z. This is obvious. However, rather than consider this general situation, to begin with, we shall hold one of the independent variables. This is equivalent to moving along the curve, obtaining by intersecting the surfaces of one of the coordinate place. Okay, so clearly uh, here, uh, if you simply consider a function f of x y, x cube equal plus two x square y plus y square plus twice x plus one. Suppose we keep y constant and vary x, then what is the rate of change of the function? F? This is my question. So suppose we hold y is constant, so we replace at the value um, x uh, value 3, then f x 3, x cube plus replace y by 3, so 6 x cube plus this, uh, 9 plus twice x plus 1, ultimately x cube plus 6 square plus twice x plus 1. That means we will have the value of this function when the variable y is keep fixed and x is changed. Uh, in effect, we now have a function of x on if we differentiate it with respect to x we obtain the expression so simply if we differentiate this we obtain the expression by differentiation formula thrice x square plus 12 x plus 2 so we said that f has been partially differentiated with respect to x why because already before going to differentiate fx we hold y is constant so we denote the partial derivative of f with respect to x by del f by del x what do you mean by del by del x? Partial derivative of x, uh, partial derivative of f with respect to x keeping y as constant. Sorry, uh, in this example what we have done, uh, 
okay so in this example when y equal to 3 when y equal to 3 del f by del x equal to 3 x square plus 12 x plus 2 in the same way if y is held at the value 4 then f of x 4 equal to what uh, for constant value of y uh, f of x 4 equal to x cube plus 8 x square plus y is plus 7 so if you uh, calculate del f by del x from over here so what should be that 3 x square plus 16 x plus 2 so now if we return to the original formulation f of x y equal to x cube plus 2 x square plus y square plus twice x plus 1 and treat y is constant then the process of partial differentiation with respect to x gives del f by del x equal to 3 x square plus 4 x square plus 0 plus 2 plus 0 that is just we are simply differentiating with respect to x so find the 3 x square plus 4 x plus y plus 2 so uh, that means what um, now we come to the main point that is uh, the partial derivative of f with respect to x so for a function of two variables i already discussed z is a function of two variables x and y the partial derivative of f with respect to x is denoted by del f by del x what is del f by del x? Partial derivative of f with respect to x keeping y as constant and is obtained by differences f of x y with respect to x in the usual way but treating the y variables as if it is the constant. So the notation for partial derivative of f with respect to x is del f by del x or simply we can written as f suffix x within bracket x comma y or simply f x or del z del x. So here uh, two examples is given. Uh, we have to find del f by del x for first example and the second example. So clearly, uh, for example a, what is del f by del x? Uh, whatever is the function, we have to uh, for finding del f by del x, we have to keep y term are constant. So so del f del x equal to three x square plus one plus zero plus zero. Why zero plus zero? Because mm, what uh, del del x of y square is 0 and del x of y is 0 is uh, what um, f is a function of x only y is constant here so similarly if you simplify uh, example b uh, what you find uh, see uh, del f by del x equal to y is a constant that should be coming outside so del x of x square is twice x plus y cube is a constant coming outside so del x of x is 1 so finally uh, the value of del f by del x is twice x y by plus y so in the similar way we can obtain the y partial derivative what is the y partial derivative uh, for any function of two variables f of x y the, f, the x y variables are on the same footing so that we have done the x variables and we can do for the y variables also so uh, we can thus imagine keeping the x variables fixed in this case we have to keep x variable fixed and determine the rate of change of f as y changes. Okay, so the rate of changes is generated by del f by del y. Now, uh, what is the main key point two over here? The partial derivative of f with respect to y. Uh, see, uh, how can I define the partial derivative of f with respect to y? For a function z equal to f of x y. Uh, partial derivative of y uh, with respect to uh, f with respect to y is denoted by del f by del y and is obtained by differentiating f of x y with respect to y in the usual way by treating the x variables as if it were a constant. So alternative notations of the partial derivative of f with respect to y are del f by del y uh, or f of suffix y x comma y or f of y or del z del y. So if you just uh, move to the previous example, f of x y equal to x cube plus twice x square plus y square plus twice x plus one. Once again, we therefore obtain del f by del y is what? With respect to y, x are remain constant, so x first term is zero. The second term, uh, y uh, x is a constant, so twice x square is coming outside, so del del y of y is one plus del del y of y square is twice y plus zero and zero. So finally, we will have del f del y equal to two x square plus two y. Now next example we will move to uh, for finding del f by del y uh, for the problems a and b. 
so if a number a represents for f of x y equal to x cube plus x plus y square plus y so uh, what is del of del y del uh, y of x cube is zero because we are taking percent derivative with respect to y so x term is constant so del del y of x is also zero same condition but del del y of y square will exist because we are taking percent derivative y with respect to y keeping x as constant so this should be twice y and this should be one so finally the result is twice y plus y similarly in the second example also f of x y equal to x square y plus x y cube okay so in this example uh, we are going to take percent derivative del of del y so for that x square is constant so del del y of y is one and similarly the second term uh, x is constant so y cube is del del y of y is three y square so the final value is x square plus three x square plus four So we can calculate the percent of f with respect to x and the value of delta delta at a specific point, for example, x equal to 1, y equal to minus. That means for any specific values of both the uh, uh, independent variables, we can take the percent of f. Okay, so next example is what? Find your delta delta x at 1 and minus 2 and delta delta y at minus 3 and 2 for f of x, y equal to x square plus y q plus y q. Clearly, first find out what is the value of del f del x from this problem. So, del f del x is for twice x plus 0 plus uh, twice y, that is twice x plus twice y. So, del f del x at 1 and minus 2 is what you replace x by 1 and y by minus 2 in the example. So, by simplifying, you will get the value should be minus 2. Similarly, uh, del f del y uh, for the given function is for del del y of x square is 0, del del y of y cube is twice y square plus twice x. So, uh, del del y, uh, del del, del of del y at the point minus 3, 2 is what? It plus 3 by, minus 3 by x and y by 2. So, by putting the values, we will have the value should be 6. So uh, just uh, some homeworks I have given to the students. Given f x y equal to this, uh, you have to find the percent derivative of f with respect to x for the values one and minus two, and percent derivative of y with respect to uh, percent derivative f with respect to y for the values minus one and minus two. next part is a uh, function of several variables. So in the previous section we have discussed function of one variable, function of two variables. So what we have to do uh, for function of several variables. So um, as we have seen a function of two variables f of x, y has two percent derivative, del x, del x, del y. So exactly analogous way uh, a function of three variables f of x, y, u has three percent derivative. That is del x, del x, del x, del y, del x, del u. And so on if we continue the process. Uh, each partial derivative is obtained in the same way as that at in key point number 3 on the table we have discussed. Uh, that is key point number 3. Uh, so the partial derivative of f of x, y, u, v, w. So uh, here we can obtain the partial derivative as del f del u, del f del v, like the del z del v, del z del f, um, del z del x, del z del y del z del u, del z del v, del z del w, etc. In this way, we will continue the process. Okay, uh, so uh, today uh, we will stop it here. Next day, we will discuss about some problems regarding the partial derivative of several functions and some more uh, practical examples of partial of the derivatives. So for today, Close the video.